So a lot of you guys have been asking me what shaders I use. As you can see, Minecraft looks brilliant with my shaders. Chip, there is no shaders. It looks so dumb. Oh my god. Oh, um, okay. Maybe I didn't switch it on, I guess. There you go. There you look at that. Would you look at that? Look at the clarity, guys. Look at the shaders. Beautiful. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get shaders on your Minecraft Bedrock version. And it's going to be very, very simple as well. There is no need to install any other third-party softwares or any other kind of stuff like Optifine or anything like that. There's no need to install anything of that sort. So there are two ways in which you can do it. And you'll only be able to use one method according to what PC you have, according to what graphic card you have. One is going to be the RTX one and the other one is going to be the not rtx or anything else that is not rtx graphics card now i have a rtx machine you might have an rtx machine you might not have an rtx machine so go ahead and check what graphics card you have an nvidia or maybe you have an amd if you have an amd it's not rtx if you have an nvidia graphics card it might be an rtx which just recently released like a 2060 3060 2070 or something like that if you don't know what graphics card you have you probably do not have an rtx but if you know what graphics card you have then that's good you're going gonna have this option over here as you can see if you do not have this option at all if you do not see ray tracing at all in your pc your pc is not so now we know which graphics card you have let's get into the tutorial right away you want to go to google and type in vanilla rtx normals download now go ahead and go to the first website which is going to be the ncpedl the official website i'm going to be using these shaders on my survival episode so make sure you stay tuned subscribe to the channel drop a like on this video also watch my survival episodes anyways as you scroll down you're going to find these pictures over here they look exactly the same and they are absolutely stunning they look very nice very good and also they have these bumpy kind of pixels over here as you can see that uh, protrude outside so that's like very nice it looks very good so we're gonna go and scroll all the way down we're gonna have the download section now here you want to download the latest version of the vanilla rtx normals now here it is the 1.7.5 release so i'm gonna click on that now of course you're gonna click on click here to continue and you want to be redirected to some other website and here we have the vanilla rtx normals update version so the version might be different you're gonna you might get a updated version now the latest version while recording this video is the 1.7.5 you want to scroll down and you want to go ahead and click the free access with ads now what you want to do is you want to cl click on cross and just wait for two seconds and click on free access again and you will be redirected to this website over here now of course you might ask chip why don't you just leave the link of this over here in the description i can't do that because this link is only version 1.7.5 if there is an update it will not be updated in this link. That's exactly why you need to come to this website, click on the latest version over here, go to the here, and then go there, I know. But anyways, once you do that, you're gonna click on download, and your download will start over here, as you can see. And once you do that, you just need to click on that and open it up. You will notice that it will directly open Minecraft, and it will start importing that pack. Now, once it's done importing the pack, I'll show you how to enable it and how to play it in any world you want. Now, once you've done importing, what you want to do is you want to click on play and go ahead and select any world that you have. Here, I have a world that I already had. You want to go to the resource packs and you want to go to the my packs. And here you will see vanilla RTX normals version 1.7.5. Whichever world you want, even if you create a new world, you just got to go ahead and click on activate. And over here, you want to see, you can see that the vanilla RTX normals is now activated successfully. You just have to go ahead and click on play and you are done with it you have rtx on on your minecraft bedrock version so as you can see the shaders are now enabled you can already see a difference let me go over here there you go as you can see wow the lighting is fantastic now this is this is actually if you guys didn't know it's my first first survival uh, episode that when i started minecraft so let me just quickly sleep it's it's been quite a while since i used this i'm going to show you how it looks in the daytime as well Oh, there you go. There you go. Look at that. Look at look at the RTX running so good. It is so good. Ooh, the Among Us tower looks fantastic. Look at that. So uh, that is the RTX shaders. If you go ahead and go to settings and go to video, scroll down, you will see that the ray tracing, you will be able to enable ray tracing on any world you want, just like that, once you enable the behavior pack. So that is exactly how you get RTX enabled on any of your Minecraft world. Now I'll show you how to install shaders if you don't have an RTX graphics card. Now what you wanna do is you wanna go back to Google, you wanna type in ESBE shaders. 
and click on enter you will see that the first link will be mcpedl.com you could use the 2g or the 3g i'm gonna go ahead and go with the 3g one the latest one and what you want to do is of course you want to go ahead and scroll down you'll see the pictures over here you want to go down scroll down you'll find uh of course the download section you want to download this click on the esbe 3g version 2.2 directly click on the link again and there you go you have the pack over here once you click on it it will of course open minecraft once again and it will Im start importing the pack it's as simple as one click you just need to it'll automatically install everything you just need to click on the behavior pack activate it and play the game and you're done with it as i have in rtx graphics card this shader will not work on my rtx graphics card if i enable it that's exactly you can see successfully important now just like that if you want to use it all you got to do is go to the resource pack my packs you will see that this is over here you will just want to click on activate and once you click on activate you can just go ahead and hit on play and your shaders will be activated just like that so there you go thank you so much for watching this video if this video was helpful smack like and also subscribe to the channel do make sure you check out my survival series as well link in description or in the end screen